And I invite my dear brother, Barrister Shahzad Ahiyar to say a few words, please. Thank you very much, uh, Barrister Sahib. Honourable Lord, or should I say, my Lord, in Britain, I know in Pakistan we have a Prime Minister and we have the President in Pakistan and many countries, but here in Britain, the Muslim community, the Pakistani community, and the Kashmir community, you are our President and you are also our Prime Minister. As long as there's people like you, champion of human rights, Dr. Afia has got nothing to worry about because I know that you will get her out and I know that before long she will be at House of Lords sitting next to you where we'll all be celebrating and, and enjoying her release. This lady has been arrested in Pakistan. Four children, a woman, a Muslim, a Pakistani. Whenever it is a British person or an American person arrested in Saudi Arabia and they are tried, immediately the British and the Americans and the French and Europe, European, they go running, they say, oh, no, 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 barbaric laws, they won't, you're not going to get a fair trial, this and that and that. But yet this lady has been brought from Pakistan to America and tried there in the presence of an American jury. She's supposed to have done something wrong against the Americans, tried by the Americans. The, her defense teams are Americans. The attacking teams are American. How can this be fair? It's completely unjust and unfair. Now we will fight hard, tooth and nail, to get this, our sister, out of there. I'd like to thank Lord Ahmed and Barrister Abid Saab, because today, for the first time, unless I stand to be corrected, he has got all the parties of Pakistan, political parties, on one table. Is that a beautiful sight? Only man who could do that. Round of applause for that for Lord Ahmed. I want to go far as this, Lord Ahmed, in the presence of these people, I think if there was one man who could save Pakistan, never mind Lady Afia on, on her own, I know you will get it out, if there is one man who could currently save Pakistan from problems, it's Lord Ahmed. And I tell you why. Zubair yeah. Kul will agree with me. Madam uh, uh, Imran Khan party will also agree with me. And, and uh, you don't mind me saying your name, but normally I out of courtesy, you know. And also we have the People's Party all sit sitting side by side. Isn't that a beautiful sight? And that's why I said, as well as getting these three people together, I know that Lord Ahmed can get Nawaz Sharif, the President of Pakistan, and also Imran Khan all on one table. And if you can get those people together, sir, we can save Pakistan, and you're the only man who can do that. And if you agree with me, then please clap for Lord Ahmed. Lord Ahmed, we know this lady is innocent. You know it's innocent. she's innocent. You went all the way to Sudan, and you showed there a British lady, I believe, who was arrested there. What did he do? Lord Ahmed went straight over, got her out of prison, and brought her back. Today, sir, a Muslim woman a Pakistani lady, but I know to you it doesn't matter whether it's Muslim or Pakistani because you showed humanity. And on those basis, sir, we applaud you. And you've got some of the wonderful team, and as well as you've got Barrister Abed. I know he's clear, and without any mistake, sir, if people in the street, you can call him in here and they can come. He's clear and he's forthright. And with people like this and the team that you've showed us today, you've got united. We applaud you, we salute you. And what can we give you, my lord? Only Allah will give you whatever you want. We are only members of the public, and we are indebted to you every moment of the time for speaking your mind, a voice of the underprivileged, voice of the suffering, a voice of people who are abused around the world. And you, a lot of Pakistanis, sadly, are Muslims. And there's politicians here. They put party before, some of the politicians, they put party before principles. You don't. A lot of them, they want to get high. You don't. You know if you wanted to be a minister in the highest possible terms, you're the first legendary <coughs> lord. You could have had it, but no. You spoke for the underprivileged, you spoke for human rights, 
and we are here, we're always with you, we'll always support you because we know that you speak from your heart and this lady, I know that you will get her out. The intricacy of her case, Barisar Abid will tell us, my lord, thank you and I am proud to see my Pakistani fellow brothers here and my Kashmiri brothers, but that you've got the three main parties sitting on your right hand side, united. If this happens, sir, Pakistan has a future. Thank you.